Slauzer here, back for another video, but this time I will be doing, well, a training video. I know there's many Bowser training videos out there already, but I thought I'll give my own intake, my own advice and my own, like things what I've struggled with, with Bowser and things I'm still learning with him. So yeah, I just want to kind of share my journey, what I'm doing, and maybe it can help you too. So before we get on with it, hit the subscribe button. Or you can't watch this. You can get out. Subscribe. So firstly, I think this is highly important. You have to get down your short hops. Honestly, it sounds, it sounds, one, it sounds easy. And two, it doesn't sound as important if you say, oh, you need to learn your short hops versus, oh, you need to learn your combos and you need to learn how to edge guard and things but no no so many times i could have finished off an opponent or i could have continued a combo but i needed to do a short hop i accidentally did a uh well a high hop and it ruined it you know it gives your opponent time to recover to punish so you need to get down your short hops and that's something i'm still struggling with you have to have quick hands honestly well yeah it's like I don't even know how many frames it is, but you have to do it within a certain, maybe it's like half a second, honestly. Not even maybe, maybe it's like a quarter of a second. You have to tap that <laughs> real quick. Now, my routine is 50 short hops in a row, no mistakes. If I make a mistake, I have to reset. So even if I got to 48 short hops and then the 49th, I did a high hop by accident. Back to the beginning, back to one, two, three, four, and so on, until I hit 50. Then I would do 50 short hops, fast drops, you know? Again, 50. And then after that, then I'll do moving around short hops, you know? And then I'll, that, that would be 30. And then again, 30 fast dropping. It sounds a lot and it sounds long, but I'm telling you, the key to the whole game to learn a character in general. You have to have the muscle memory. You have to be able to react to whatever move you want within instantly. Yeah, instantly, really. You can't be playing the game and think what your next move will, like, will be. Of course, you can think ahead, but you can't be thinking every second, thinking, okay, should I do this next or not? No, you, your mind has just has to react because you, if you're in a fast-paced game, let's say your opponent's constantly pressuring you, attacking you, you can't have time to think what you're going to do. You have to react to your opponent within seconds or maybe yeah within a second so if you're doing a combo and then you're thinking oh should i do this next by the time you're thinking it it might be too late you know but if your muscle memory is there you'll be able to do that combo without even thinking it it just does it but the thing about muscle memory is you need to spend time and i mean a long time for it to actually remember i have to admit this training the short hopping it's probably the most boring training there is, but it's key and it really is. If you're not willing to spend hours practicing short hop, I'm not saying hours in one day, you could do one hour one day, one hour the next day, and then so on, so on, so on, until the muscle memory kicks in. But if you're thinking, I will do 10 minutes today, 10 minutes in a few days, 15 minutes in the next week, you know, it's just not gonna work like that, honestly. The more hours you spend on it, the faster your muscle memory will adapt to it. What I forgot to mention though, however, and this is something, again, my level or lower or whatever level, I'm actually currently, I've switched to, my, to jumping with L now. For two years I've been jumping with X and Y and I've decided to switch to L just recently. So think of that muscle memory, always press X and Y, well mainly X actually, not really Y, X to jump, but now I'm switching to L. So as you can see in the footage, all this jumping, why I'm failing a lot, is because I've been using the L. I've never short hopped with my left hand. So it's like I'm doing two muscle memories now. One, muscle memory to use my left hand to jump, and two, to short hop. So it's, it's, it's like two things now I have to muscle memory. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't think because I'm used to this, I don't wanna go to this because it'll just take a long time. If the thing you wanna move to will be better in the long run, then do it because in the long run, as I just said, it will be better for you. Jumping with the these, let's say you jump 
and you want to do a, a forward tilt. I know it's a small maneuver, but there's a, well, there's a movement, you know, to move your thumb from X to to analog. Again, it's not massive, but there's still a movement. While if you do with L, let me see if I can do this. You can literally have your thumb on the analog already. So as soon as you jump, you can boom already. It's straight away. So even if there was one, two, three frames different, those frames are a difference. You know, to a to an amateur or a, a new player, a novice, those three frames won't really make a difference. But if you're when you're facing intermediate to top level, those will make a massive difference. So again, if there's something you want to try and you believe it will be better for you but you're just worried that it's going to take long and there's no point, you're not used to it, um, you, you've been doing something for years or, or months, if you know it will make you a better player, you have to do it. Because again, in the long run, it will improve you as a player. This is why the muscle memory is so important because if you're thinking of your next move and your move after that, etc., you sometimes overthink and then you forget one of the moves. Honestly, it's happened to me so many times. For example, I mean, this could be because I'm now practicing with the L button to jump, but I was on Elite Smash, and I shouldn't really go in there when you're practicing, but I just, thought, I just wanted to have fun, you know. But I was pressing L button, but because I was thinking in my head, all right, make sure you use the L button to jump, make sure to use the L button to jump. I kept thinking that in my head, not to use the X and Y, use the L button. But then when I would jump, i will be like, oh crap, what do I do next? I would forget, I literally would forget, why don't you just do X and A for my um, short hop uh, fair attack? Or why don't you just do a fair attack or something? Sometimes I would forget my next move. And maybe even sometimes I'll fall off the stage. And then I'll forget to use the L button to jump. And I'm like, wait, what? And then I'll press X instead to jump back. And I'm like, oh yeah, use the L. The best way to put this is when you become when you go under pressure or when you're nervous or something, your body will naturally resort to what you're best at or what you're what you're used to. So obvious of course for me. It's um, jumping with the X or doing random moves what I, I used to do. That's why sometimes when I would do a high hop when I want to do a short hop, because I'm under pressure, I'm again, like maybe I'm losing the fight or I'm winning and I don't want to lose the lead. Because um, I'm kind of under pressure, I will press the, the jump button too hard and then I'll do the high hop, you know. So this is why, again, it's important to get your muscle memory down because you have to make your mind and your muscle used to now doing your new things if it's with jumping or if it's with anything else you need to go through these boring stages in order to proceed like in order to improve there'll be a boring stage in everything anything sports gym cooking you know there's like whatever you're doing there's always which of course requires time there's always a boring stage this is the boring stage honestly there's been times i'm on just short hopping for about three hours and I'm just like, oh, I'm getting bored, but I know I have to do it. And you have to fight through it because if, if you want to be good, if you truly want to be good at this game, you have to you have to practice. All right, I think we've got the short hopping down. I did say this will be a different Bowser training video because technically you could use this for any other character. Okay, so the next is I'll practice my true combos. This is one of Bowser's key attacks you know at low percentage and something i'm still working on so your up throw combos yeah you could they, they can be true as long as you time it right i used to up throw and then jump with my own timing and then do an up air or a forward air attack but you pretty much it was never true honestly if you want to make it true at low percentage anyway you have to buffer the jump it just makes it much easier and then you have the time using your tilt attack to hit your opponent to make it true so this is well, this is why i love training when you see the combo when you do your um up air, it does nine now if you make it true it will be 10 if it doesn't it goes back to one that's the, I, I love that it shows you basically what's true and not i practice this with both up air and fair you could start off with 10 get 10 true combos in a row first you could start with up air or you could do fair don't mix do one Get it 10 in a row if you don't you reset once you do the let's say you start with up air once you get that 10 in a row then you can then do the fair or you can start with the fair and then do the up air but you have to get 10 in a row and if you fail you go back to one and i forgot to mention 
with all these, with the short hopping and now the true combos, you don't have to start with the 50 short hops. You can start with 20 or 30. And then every day, you do that 20 or 30 or 40, however you want to test yourself. If it's the true combos, 10, 20, whatever. You keep doing that. You keep doing that daily or every other day at least. And then once you're, you're getting it down, once you keep getting those, let's say, short hops 30 in a row, you, you improve it. You go to 40 hops in a row. If you keep doing that, then you go 50 in a row and so on until, I would say, once you can do like 50 in a row easily, easily, then your short hopping should be all good. And then with the true combos, if you can get to like, you start off with 10, if you can start doing 10 in a row easily, move to 20. If you're getting 20 in a row easily, move to 30. If you're getting 30 in a row easily, I mean, you can still test yourself to go higher, but if you're getting 30 in a row easily, multiple times, let's say for five days in a row, you do 30 easily. That's pretty much your muscle memories is strong with them moves now, you know, because again, 30 in a row is not easy. And then you're doing it five days in a row. So that would be a really good sign. But again, if you really want to test yourself more, you can always up it. There's no limit. The more consistent you want to be with your moves, just keep upping it, you know, 50, 60, whatever. Like the more you do, technically, the more better you'll get. It's that simple. Now, just in case you would like to know, if your opponent's obviously trying to DI away, then fair is obviously better to use. But if they're kind of staying above you or trying to go behind you, then up air is the better option. This again goes with what I've said before with the muscle memory. If you're just trying to always think about your next move, you won't have time to react. If your opponent's DIing, it's, it's in the moment, you know, so you can't really think, oh, well, if you thought that you're going to do a fair attack, but then he's going behind you, it's like, oh, well, now you kind of just ruined your fair attack. If you've got the muscle memory down, you can react in the moment. So the next basic combo you should practice with Bowser is his nair to fair. I think it's a good, it's a good basic combo. So when you do the nair and you knock your opponent up, buffer your X and A at the same time. That's if obviously that's your jab punch and your your other jump button to uh, then buffer a short hop fair attack, which I, I do love that that's in the game. This way you don't miss the timing and you make it true. However, you there's still a chance that it won't be true if you don't do your knock up good enough, if you don't time your nair attack basically. So again, this is why I love the combo mechanic because if it goes, let's say one, two, and then when you hit with your fair attack, it goes back to one, you know it's not true. But if it goes to three, it was true. Same same, pretty much with the uh, up throw combos. Get 10 in a row, 20, 30, however you want to challenge yourself. Um, this again is a good combo. It does, it's a basic one because it can lead into many other things. Let me see example. Depending on how far your opponent is, you could do a fair and then boom. A tilt attack, forward tilt. So again, you could have a jump. Oops, wrong way. You could jump, fair, forward tilt, boom. You know, 45%. Now, of course, after the fair, it's not true, but it's still a good mix up. You know, your opponent might not be able to read it. They might think that's it. Just a bit. You're just doing poking damage. Give, just put more percentage, but it's a nice. I mean, look, 45% from three hits, basically. This game's all about mix ups. Look, the. the the fundamentals of this game is pretty much this. Predict your opponent and make yourself unpredictable. That is it's, it's like it's pretty much that's the that's the fundamental of the game. You don't even really need to know combos. Honestly, like as I'm showing you, I'm still practicing my true combos. I only started practicing them a few weeks ago, but I was still winning games. I still got into Elite Smash. Because I my fundamentals aren't that like they're pretty they're decent. They're decent. I'm not going to say they're real good because I still make mistakes, but they're not bad because I'm always trying to read my opponent. I'm always trying to be unpredictable. I try to mix up, even though sometimes I do do common mistakes, like I might do too many down airs and then I become predictable, trying to go for a side B or, or something, you know. It does happen. But that's because, again, my that's my natural instincts. That's my muscle memory because I'm used to doing that before, back in the day. But now, as I'm improving, the more I play, I'm starting to read the game even more. I'm making less mistakes and so on. And it will only keep improving the more I play. And it's as simple as that. The more you play this game, the more muscle memory you get, the better you'll become.
and that's why training mode is crazy important some people might find it boring as i said in the beginning it, it is boring it is boring but that's why put on some music set yourself three four five well, how many hours you have in that day be like do you know what this is all for training like i said put on music and just focus forget because if you have other stuff in your mind that's when training becomes a hassle because if you're training and you're like oh i have to go somewhere in one hour's time this is getting a bit long now or you start to rush it and things that don't you you have to have a good amount of time so you have patience and you don't like you have no stress you know you're just in your mode training you're in the game basically you know don't let anything distract you when you're when you're practicing i know this isn't like any other training video i pretty much just said three things and one of them technically isn't even a bowser thing the short hopping um it, that can be for anyone i guess just quick quick things what you can do like obviously the short ups the short ups can lead into a fair attack which most of the time they do um it can be an up air but I, I i go with fair i definitely think it's a lot more useful if you go into fair then you can either jab them right after or you could go for a grab mix ups again you want to get down the the low forward tilt and you really want to get down this again with the muscle memory because when you're at the edge as soon as your opponent tries to get back onto the field bye bye but yeah sorry if you if you were expecting like a, a video which shows off all his moves and all his combos and stuff but if you would like one to see exactly like how i play and what i do then i could do another training video like a part two i guess a bit more on his actual move sets these three things i pretty much fit in this video are the things what i struggled with and i feel are massive in the game and i think if you get them down you can do a lot so yeah i think that's pretty much it hopefully you've learned something new if you're a like i said my level intermediate or amateur or novice however you want to judge your skills hopefully I, I was able to give you some sort of advice and help out if you'd like to see another training video let me know and if you subscribe i would appreciate it anyway from slothy and mini bowser and slowser thanks for watching peace